A very good morning dear students, myself Professor Satish Shandey from the Department of Mathematics, KLS VDIT, Halyal. So in the previous session we have studied what is, what do I mean by Cauchy's theorem, Cauchy's integral formula and generalized integral formula. So today we will see the example based on that. So let's begin with the example. First one, verify Cauchy's theorem for the function f of z is equal to z square where c is the square having the vertices 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now we need to verify the Cauchy's theorem means integral f of z dz we need to keep, uh, show that it is equal to 0. Now you can see that the origin 0, 0 the points are 1, 0, 1, 1 and 0, 1. So it is a closed region simple closed curve you can see that it is simple closed curve. Now, integral over f of z dz, uh, here if it is uh, integral over f of z dz over c, it is splitted into the four curves here along OA, along AB, along BC, along CO. Now, along OA, you can see that y is equals to 0 because along x axis y will be equals to 0, dy equals to zero therefore and x lies between zero to one or x varies between zero to one along a b x is constant that is x is equals to one so dx is equals to zero therefore uh, y lies between zero to one along b c y is equals to one dy equals to zero and x lies between one to zero along c o x is equals to zero dx is equals to zero y lies between one to zero integral f of z dz or c it is equals to because as you know the f of z is z square z square means it is x plus i y the whole square now integral first integral along oa that is integration from x is equals to 0 to 1 y is equals to 0 since y is equals to 0 therefore x plus i y becomes x the whole square it means x square into dx similarly along a b if you take it will be in i is taken outside and integral from y is equals to 0 to 1 1 plus i y the whole square into dy plus along bc it is x is equal integral from x is equals to 1 to 0 x square plus 2 x i minus 1 into dx minus along co it is in i into integral from y is equals to 1 to 0 y square into dy which comes around 1 by 3 plus minus 1 plus 2i by 3 plus 2 by 3 minus i plus i by 3 which comes around equals to 0 hence the Cauchy's theorem. Now next example verify Cauchy's theorem for the function f of z is equals to z into e raised to minus z. Now over the unit circle with the origin as the center. Now you can see that the we need to evaluate integral or c z into e raised to minus z into dz where c is the c is nothing but mod z is equals to 1 which is a unit circle means radius will be equals to 1 and uh, center at the origin that means z is equals to e raised to i theta theta lies between 0 to 2 pi dz will be i into e raised to i theta into d theta now next integral f of z dz or c it will be equals to integral z into e raised to minus z dz or c so theta varies from 0 to 2 pi so z is e raised to i theta e raised to minus z means it is e raised to minus of e raised to minus e, e raised to i theta dz is nothing but e, i into e raised to i theta into d theta so it is equals to integral i into integral from 0 to 2 pi e raised to 2 i theta e raised to minus of e raised to i theta into d theta put e raised to i theta is equals to t that is i into e raised to i theta into d theta, d theta will be equals to dt and t varies from 1 to 1 as theta varies from 0 to 2 5 that means the upper and lower limits are same and you can see that therefore and here integral value it is equals to 0 since the both the limits are same hence the Cauchy's theorem evaluate next example third one evaluate integral over c e raised to z upon z plus i pi into dz over each of the following constant c curve 
it is mod z is equals to 2 pi mod z is equals to pi by 2 mod z minus 1 is equals to 1 now as uh, here by the Cauchy's integral formula you can you are knowing that integral over c f of z upon z minus a into t z if you compare with this integral given integral e raised to z upon z plus i pi into dz then you can see that here f of z is e raised to z and a is equals to minus of i pi so a is equals to minus of, since mod z is equal to in the first case mod z is equal to 2 pi it represents a circle with center at the origin and radius 2 pi now you can see that here the circle with the which uh, intersect at x axis at 2 pi comma 0 0 comma 2 pi at y axis negative x axis minus 2 pi comma 0 and negative y axis 0 comma minus 2 pi and here you can see the point a, a is equals to i minus i pi it is denoted by 0 comma minus pi which completely lies within the circle mod z is equals to 2 pi therefore by Cauchy's integral formula uh, it is it says that integral over f of z into dz uh, it is equal to 2 pi i into f of a and therefore it is 2 pi it is equal to 2 pi i into f of minus i pi which is nothing but 2 pi i into e raised to minus i pi now it is equal to 2 pi cos e raised to minus i pi means cos of pi minus i sin of pi cos of pi is minus 1 and sin of pi is 0 therefore it becomes minus of 2 pi i along the, the circle mod z is equal to 2 pi pi by 2 second case it is a circle with center at the origin and radius pi by 2 and the point 0 comma minus pi you can see that from the figure it lies outside the circle therefore straight forward the integral value is 0 okay then in third case mod of z minus 1 equals to 1 you can see that it is a circle with center at z minus a equals to a uh, a comma 0 is the center and radius will be equals to 1 radius is equals to 1 now the point 0 comma minus pi lies outside therefore the integral value again it is equals to 0 next example evaluate integral over c dz upon z square minus 4 over the following curves mod z is equals to 3 and circle and second case mod of z plus 2 is equals to 1 consider 1 upon z square minus 4 which can be split into the linear factors 1 by z plus 2 z minus 4 uh, sorry z minus 4 here z plus 2 and z minus 2 should be then here you can see that z square minus 4 it is there so it is by partial fraction we, uh, we can separate the terms here we can separate the terms here uh, so by taking partial fraction if you apply 1 by z plus 2 into z minus 4 it will be what a by a by z minus 2 plus b by z plus 4 so it will be 1 by 4 a value will be equal 1 by 4 and b value will be minus 1 by 4 you will get and integral value so sub mod z is equal to 3 a is equal to 2 and in case second case it is a is equals to minus 2 and you can see that the a is equals to 2 and a is equals to minus 2 both lie inside and therefore integral dz upon z square 1 by d square dz upon z square minus 4 it is 2 pi i by 4 f of z minus f, f of 2 minus f of minus of 2 which is equals to 0 and in case of mod of z plus 2 is equals to 1 is a circle with center at minus 2 comma 0 and radius 1 let a is minus 2 comma 0 and p the any point you can take p a is a point and p is 2 comma 0 if you find the distance between the points a p by dist using distance formula it is 2 which is greater than 1 therefore we can see that the point lies outside the circle z is equals z minus a equals to z minus a is equals to minus 2 lies inside the circle and second point lies inside the circle so integral over c dz upon z plus 2 it is equals to integral dz upon z minus of minus 2 which is 2 pi i into f of minus 2 it is 2 pi i 
and in the second case the integral over c dz upon z, z square minus 4 it is 1 by 4 into 0 minus 1 by 4 into 2 pi which is minus i pi by 2 fifth one evaluate integral uh, c z square plus z plus 1 z min upon z minus 2 the whole cube into dz over the circle mod z is equals to 3 which is a circle with center at the origin and radius is 3 you can see that the point z is equal to 2 lies inside the circle and by Cauchy's integral formula integration of f of z upon z minus a raised to n plus 1 into dz is 2 pi i upon n factorial into fn of a here f of z is z square plus z plus 1 f dash of z will be 2z plus 1 f double dash of z will be equal to 2 a is equal to 2 and n is equal to 2 therefore integral over c z square plus z plus 1 upon z minus 2 the whole cube into dz will be equal to 2 pi i upon 2 factorial into 2 which comes as 2 pi i now one more example uh, you can try to solve this example evaluate an integral e raised to 2z upon z plus 1 the whole square into z minus 2 into dz over the circle mod z is equal to 3 okay now this complete the uh, this today's session so at the end of the session students will understand how to solve the example related to the simple closed curve okay uh, now uh, application as ampl application part some simple general relationship between surface areas and solid and their projection uh, can be uh, presented by using what Cauchy's theorem and Cauchy's integral formula. Here are some additional reference that is uh, some additional examples are being uh, given through uh, the YouTube channel. So I request each and every one of you to go through these channels. With this I conclude today's session.